How dare you come here? You're asking to die. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It helps. It really does. Hello, fool lovers. It's good you're here. Fung Hakun was born on the 12th of September, 1948, in Guangdong Province, China. He was an actor, director, and choreographer, known for his many memorable performances in Kung Fu movies in the 70s and early 80s, mainly as a villain. His most notable role was as Banker Mo in the eternal classic, Warriors 2. Fung was trained at the Peking Opera Academy of Madame Fan Phok Fa. His classmates included future Kung Fu stars like Li Hoi Sang, Lam Ching Ying, Meng Hoi, and Mars. Fong is the son of famed character actor-director Fong Fong. He made his first appearance at the age of seven in the movie Seven Bodies, Eight Deaths, and Nine Human Heads in 1955, which was directed by his father, Fong Fong. As a teenager, Fong became a stuntman for Shaw Brothers Studio. He featured prominently in director Chang Che's early movies as both a stuntman and an extra. As the years progressed, Fong became more noticeable as he was given more visible roles in Chan's movies like Vengeance 1970 and Boxer from Shantong 1972. By this time, Fung had begun to explore his choreographing skills. He would do double duty on the independently made film The Prodigal Boxer starring the great Man Fi. Fung would help choreograph the fights and starred as one of the friends of Man's character, Fang Shi Yu. In 1973, although he is not credited, it is common knowledge that he assisted Jackie Chan with the fight choreography of John Woo's directorial debut, The Young Dragons. In the following years, 1974 to 1976, Fong would feature in 29 movies. A few of those would be for other movie studios, like Golden Harvest and other independent producers, but the majority would be for Shaw Studio. Fong would go on to have some very memorable on-screen moments with the late Alexander Fuchsia, Although the two would have first worked together on the 1973 movies, The Generation Gap and Police Force, their real confrontation would begin in 1974 with the movies Heroes 2 and Men from the Monastery and continue on in the movies Shaolin Martial Arts and Five Shaolin Masters. But what is probably their most memorable on-screen moments would be from the classic movie Disciples of Shaolin, in which Fung and one of his frequent partner in crime, Chiang Tao, really went overboard with their ruthlessness. In 1977, Fung would begin to reap the fruits of his labor. Although he would still feature in some short productions, his real break would come from a Golden Harvest movie. Sammo Hung, having previously worked with Fung on the movie Shaolin Plot, would cast him as one of the main villains in his directorial debut, the classic movie, The Iron Fisted Monk. The following year, 1978, Fung would again show up as one of the main bodies along with another of his frequent partner in crime, Li Hoi San, in the movie Descendant of Wing Chun. That year, Fung would feature in 16 movies, sometimes in cameo, like Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, or slightly bigger roles like in Enter the Fat Dragon. However, the movie that would forever change Fung's life and the landscape of Kung Fu cinema would be the eternal classic, Warriors 2. His performance as the scheming duplicitous banker Mo is beyond legendary. His mantis style in that movie is unsurpassed. In 1979, Fung would star in six movies, but he would especially stand out in three of them. Last two were for Chivalry, in which he played the insistent killer named Prey, the magnificent butcher as the overly amorous Ko Tai Hoi, and Snake Deadly Act as the main villain, the deceptive Yu Yi. The early 80s would see Fung continue his run of four, However, his main focus would be on his choreography. In 1980, he would handle five duties along with Jackie in Chan's Golden Harvest directorial debut, The Young Master. Then again in 1982, in another Jackie Chan directed movie, Dragon Lord, for which he was nominated for Best Action Choreographer at the Second Hong Kong Film Awards in 1983. Throughout the remainder of the 80s into the 90s and 2000s, Fung would appear mainly in small roles and cameos. His focus was on his choreography and other behind-the-scenes activities, which he would continue to do up till the year 2011. Fung would continue to show up in movies all the way up to and even after his death in 2016. In 2017, he appeared posthumously in the movie Soccer Killer. Having featured in 204 films, directed 4 and action directed 37 movies, along with many, many more accolades, it is safe to say 
Fung Hak Oon's legacy in martial arts cinema is very much secure. So to Fung Hak Oon we say, thanks for the memories. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and may the food be with you.